If you love carnival rides, the plain white tees, and a good old fashioned rodeo, then get ready for the Adams County Fair. Jesse Ogus joins us from the backyard with a bull and a rodeo star. It's time for today's fair cast. Take it away, Jesse. Thanks, Denise. It's no bull that we're going to be having a great time at this year's Adams County Fair. I mean, just check out this guy. His name is uh, Pretty Boy. And with us today, we have an actual professional bull rider by the name of Cody Tesh, who might just have a shot at staying on that bull for eight seconds. But before I go to Cody, I want to interview Melanie Snowdell. And so, Melanie, tell us, what's new at the fair this year? Oh my gosh, we have so much new this year. Anything that you've ever known or heard about the Adams County Fair, forget it, because we've gone bigger, we've gotten better, and you better grab your family and be there. We've got our good friends here with the PBR. That's the first time we've ever had PBR at the fair this year, so we're really excited. Wow, so what is one of your favorite featured events? You know, I always love the 4-H competitions and judging shows. Those kids put so much work and effort into those competitions that it's always great to see all their work showcased at the fair, but another favorite of mine is the Nine News Kids Day at the fair you got to be there. Love it, love it. So, how can people save on carnival rides? There's all kinds of ways to save. Go to our adamscountyfair.com. All of the carnival wristband prices are listed. We've got a sneak a peek night on Wednesday, August 5th. Friday, August 7th is Kids Day. Best price of the fair, $11 unlimited arm ride band from 10 to 3, and then Sunday's $2 ride day. Wow. So, I know our viewers are asking this question. What events are going on that the entire family will be able to enjoy? We've got all kinds of great stuff. We've got a free kids zone with a mobile ropes course, a zip line. We've got Birdman bird shows, wow. we've got the canine stunt shows, we've got motorsports, we've got the truck pull, motorized mayhem, which is demolition derby, truck pull, motocross, tough trucks. Wow, what it sounds event. like we've got it all. We've got these guys coming in with the PBR, that's a great family. Oh event. my gosh. So for me, the fair is all about the food. What kind of good eats are we gonna have there this year? Oh, we got everything. We've got funnel cakes, corn dogs, fried bacon, oh. turkey legs, you name it, we got it at the Adams County. All fair. right, so let me ask you ladies, what what kind of goodies did you bring us today for our viewers to see? Well, we had to bring you funnel cakes, of course, because that's the fair. And then we brought, we have a great caramel apple stand at the fair, so you've got to check it out. We brought some, um, and of course, the cotton candy. All right, so now let's get back to this bull. So, Cody, you're a professional bull rider. How long have you been riding bulls? Yes, sir, I've been riding bulls for about 15 years now. Oh my God, there's no hope for me. <laughs> so, let me ask you this. When you're in the chute, and you're on that bull and they're jumping all over. What is going through your head? Yeah, there's not much we can think about. We just have to clear our minds and do our job, you know, react to the bull's movements. Whoa. <laughs> what is your personal best time? Uh, well, we don't really go on times. Eight seconds is what we're supposed to ride for. So uh, we get scores, and my highest score has been 90 points. 90 points. All right. So with us today is Greg Talbert, and I'm going to ask him, since he's the promoter of the PBR, what can he tell us about Pretty Boy? Pretty Boy's a seven-year-old bucking bull. He's been on the PBR tour for about two years. He's bucked off some rural champions, and if you can ride him, he'll be in the 90s. Whoa, there it is. So, Cody, one last question. Is there one scary story that you can share with us to, to, to give our viewers an idea of what you go through? Yes, sir. Uh, about two years ago, I had my head stepped on, and if I didn't have a helmet on, I probably wouldn't be standing here right now, so I'm very thankful to have that. All right, well, Greg, back to you. What makes a bull a good one for our bull riders to ride at a rodeo? If a goat jumps out, spins and kicks, and they can ride. Wow, so how successful has this bull been? Uh, he's been ridden about four times, uh, several times in the 90s. So does, does, he, does he buck the cowboys? off? I mean, is he mean? <laughs> no, he's, as you can see, he's pretty gentle, but his demeanor changes when we go to the rodeo. Would I be able to ride him? Yes. <laughs> All right. So you've got it, folks. I'll be able to ride him. All right, Melanie. Yes. Oh, my God. Yes. The, the plain white tees. I know. They're a big act. They're And huge. they're playing at the Adams County Fair. How cool is that? It's awesome. It is. You can't even believe how excited we are to bring in the plain white tees. We wanted to bring concerts back to the fair this year. What better way to bring in an act like the plain white tees? They have special guest Carmen coming with them. So, you, so it's going to be a great show. 
Saturday oh, night, August 8th. So how do people get tickets? AdamsCountyFair.com. You can buy them at the fairgrounds or at the box office day of the show. So can you talk about the prize package to our oh, viewers today on exciting. who, on what they're going to get? Yes. So we were able to grab four tickets to the Plain White Tees, a VIP parking pass, oh, which if you've ever been to the fair is like a hot commodity. Oh, you yes. also get four carnival wristbands, unlimited rides, and what's the most exciting part is you get a chance to meet the Plain White Tees. Oh my God, what is your favorite part about the fair? You know, I love it all, to be honest with you. I love um, I love all the events that we have. I just love seeing the families come together, our community, friends, and just have a good time. All right, so a couple housekeeping things. How yes. much are tickets to get in? Well, the Adams County Fair is free, so admission oh, is free. It's my favorite. Are there ATMs? Yes, there are. And how much is parking? Parking on Wednesday night is free, Thursday through Sunday. It's ten dollars, but we also do have off-site parking locations this year. All right, check it out at AdamsCountyFair.com. Oh, Those are free. Sounds great. All right, folks. So that's all for today. Make sure and tune in to our Faircast on Friday. Now it's time for my eight seconds of fame. <laughs> and if I'm not here on Friday, send flowers. Back to you, Denise. <laughs> Do not get on that bull. It reminds me of me when I have PMS once a month. It bucks, it kicks, and it spits. Don't do it, my friend. All right, we have a great giveaway right now, and it includes four tickets to see Plain White Tees at the Adams County Fair. Plus, we'll hook you up with a meet and greet with the band. All you have to do is answer this question. Which member of the Plain White Tees was a Bachelor contestant on the NBC reality show Ready for Love? I want you to think about it, do your research, then send us an email at mycoco at 9news.com. We'll give away tickets to the first correct answer, and we'll get by email, so make sure you do it. Adams County Fair paid for their segment on today's show.